Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again. The streak is going really, really, really well. It's, it's bound to go bad when we get to the lost or the keeper, I'm sure. But right now I'm feeling it. It's going good. And we're jumping in as little old Lazarus. I apologize if you can hear my fan in the background. It is a warm old day in the UK right now. Ooh, hell of a look down there. But yeah, so it's a warm old day in the UK right now. So unfortunately, there is going to be some noise in the background unavoidable otherwise i would be burning up um and i'd rather not so sorry uh but anyways as we continue on let's just get into the episode and see just how we do and uh, i'm i'm really feeling isaac at the minute this this like streak that we're on and like the the sort of playing through all the characters in a row literally is something i i don't think i've done in years so i'm, I'm quite enthused at the moment uh also as well at the moment our runs have been inexplicably amazing uh, so that has definitely helped with things. Ooh, an eternal. I mean, look at this. An eternal heart. We get cootie, which is pretty goddamn good. Um, we'll bomb that bad boy. We'll not do that. Uh, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on all of this because I'm probably gonna want to kill myself. Uh, this floor. But yeah, cootie's amazing. Cootie's amazing. Pe basically, a permanently charmed enemy every single room. This is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about. Look at look at this. Look at this. We can go into our shop now and see what's what. We got exactly 15 coins. Let's pop all of these fires because there might be hearts in them, um, and we can use those for the blood bank. Right, what we got going on in here? Um, it's, it's honestly not great, but I'll take it because it is free cash room entry, um, which is pretty good for 10 cent, I'd say, over the course of the run. We'll probably end up swapping it out uh, later down the line. In terms of um, Pathing, where are we going here? So, we could do Dark Path and uh, get that finished up and uh, Mega Satan as well. So, we're probably going to go Angel Deal here. Dude. we got our luck back. There's so many hearts on the floor. The only problem is going to happen if the Blood Donation Machine ends up paying out too early and gives us Blood Bag, uh, blood bag like super early on. That's going to be kind of annoying. Um... I think I destroyed all the fires. I kind of need a way to, to hurt myself reliably here. Let me. I, I need to check the floor and make sure I haven't got rid of all the fires. I think I have. It's kind of annoying. Sadly, Cootie doesn't do anything against bosses here, so I'm missing out a little bit there. Take these guys out before they bounce against each other. I don't really care if I get hit, but I'd rather not, because basically getting hit is a waste of money. I have a feeling the blood bank's going to pay out way too early and not let us kill ourselves with it. Right. Good, good. Teardrop charm is also pretty goddamn good. Uh, this is this has been, been a very good run. Right. Uh, come back here. Go. One, two, three, four, five. That gave me child's heart. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Right. Quickly scoot back and pick up all the hearts we can. Really good floor to, like, get out all this loot on. I don't know how often I'll be killing myself, I'll be honest, because, um... I, uh... I'm gonna have soul hearts next floor, but we'll just see how it goes. Oh my god. Yeah, I fucking knew it, but... We got an insane, insane item out of this. Uh, right, so this item is... Really goddamn good. I can't. I can't believe that machines can drop those. I'm surprised by that. Ah, oh, I should have fucking picked up the soul heart first. Goose. That's okay. Um. Right. So let's go through to the boss here. Goddamn, this is an insanely good run. <laughs> Again, an insanely good. Oh, dude, I hate this already. Um. But yeah, uh, I did not know that you could get this uh, this item from a blood donation machine. It's kind of insane that you can, I'll be honest. Um, I'm guessing it's really, really rare, like 0 0.1 or something. Uh, if it's not, then this is broken. This is a quality 4 item that I think is probably one of the best like defensive items in the game. All red hearts also, like, all, all become half soul hearts. So basically, all red hearts are also soul hearts. Which means, actually, taking child's heart would be a very good idea for us. Right, anyways, you're taken care of. Oh, I... I'm an idiot. I'm an actual moron. I was meant to kill myself on him. And I fucking forgot. 
And I don't think I have any fires left. Damn it! I was meant to kill myself on that guy and I just completely forgot. Is there any fires anywhere? Oh, there is good. Okay, nice one. Cool. Good, good. That makes me feel better. Right. Give me that. Just, I just don't know what's going on with these runs at the minute. They're just absolutely god tier. Yeah, we want child's heart. Because that'll be just a ton of extra soul hearts. Coming our way. Um... And we go down. Okay, yeah, really fucking good start. <laughs> this item, I did not know you could get it from blood banks, but makes them way better than they used to be. And blood banks were already pretty goddamn good. Um, we got a sack room here. Sack room is certainly plausible with the amount of, like, red hearts and stuff that we'll be getting. Ooh, dude. Cootie did some good work there. Range up as well. Uh, secret room's probably here, but we don't have coinage for it yet. Yeah. Okay. Stay away from me, lads. Good. Um, I'd like to get another key before we do shop, re realistically. I love the fact that Cootie can sometimes, like, accidentally double charm. I don't know why it does that, but I'm happy for it. Right, quickly just pop all these poops. And straight to the shop once again. Shop is pretty valuable for us at the moment. Um, right, what we got going on here? So we got a crawl space, that's good. Smelter is probably worthwhile. I'll keep my ventricle razor for now. Um, so I can, like, check it as a cash room. Gold, eh, golden clicker, it's not good because it's a, a revive as another character, but it's also not bad, like, at all. There's no point not taking it. It just means we've got to revive if we want. As, lo as long as it doesn't, like, revive when we kill ourselves now, as, um, like, to, to revive as Lazarus, that would be kind of annoying. Um... Let's, let's get Smelter now, actually, because there's a bunch of charges on this floor that are worthwhile. Child's Heart is already locked in. That's good. But yeah, hopefully we can get quite a lot of trinkets here. That would be quite lovely. But yeah, Child's Heart's a really goddamn good one to lock in. I can't believe we got Child's Heart and an item uh, from the blood donation machine. That's just insane. The blood bank really came in clutch. Have I done Question of the Day today? I don't remember if I have. If I haven't... um. Hmm. What's something you were forced to eat recently that you didn't like? Or something that you ate, tried for the first time recently that you really didn't like? There you go. That's a good one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do much for us, but it is a trinket, so I'll grab it. <laughs> this run's silly. This run is silly. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is happening? Right, I don't really care about taking time here. Dude, what is going on with this run? Right, I'll go back and get Ventricle Razor real quick. It's a little bit of a cop-out, but I wanted to get the extra charge on Smelter. Because Smelter does increase the drop chance of Trinkets, so it is worthwhile. I'm fairly sure Secret Room is uh, where I thought it to be. It is indeed. Ooh, okay, this is pretty good. Um, I think I'm just going to take all of those. I think I'm going to sack. I think I'm going to sack. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm going to see if I get any more hearts from this. Because I don't really care about throwing my HP away at this point, because I'm going to get more HP back. Right, good, good. Right, 
throw those in there. Boom, 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 boom. Probably should have held off on there, on those hearts, to be honest. Right, one, two, three, four. Right, let's keep it at four for now. Um, yeah, let's grab that. Let's go do our boss so we have it that angel chance. Now that we've flipped it to angel. Uh, we don't have a bomb for Mega Satan at the minute. Let me just grab that bomb real quick. Uh, for you, are you, I didn't mean Mega Satan. You know what I mean. For blowing up the angel statue. We're going to be taking our sweet time on this run. I will say. But I'm, I'm, I, I was saying I want to try and min-max a little more. So I think it's worthwhile. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Enjoy me being a bit more diligent with uh, how I play the game. I mean, on runs like this as well, they're just so, damn, so goddamn good. I make sure I don't use my bomb on this guy, not that I'd need to. Sci-Fi doing some good stuff. It's nice that Sci-Fi does damage as well. That's like another crazy thing about Sci-Fi. I'm trying to utilize him as like an attack fly. Just because Monstro is so easy to hit without getting hit. There you go. Nice and easy peasy. We got that going on. We'll leave that on the floor. Chimera is absolutely absurd. It's probably one of the better Angel Deal items. It got moved up to quality 4 recently because it used to be quality 2, which was bizarre. Um, very well deserved being quality, uh, quality 4. It's... Like, the amount of luck that you get out of it just on its own is insane, but, like, damage and stuff you get out of it. Basically, any anytime we, like, kill enemies in a room, we get stat increases for that room. Anytime we kill mini-bosses, we get a permanent small stat up. Anytime we kill a main boss, we get a bigger permanent stat increase. Um, and, yeah, it, it, it's just insane. It's insane. Like, th this guy is going to give us a stat increase when, for killing him. We got plus two luck from killing that guy. Leave that there. Back we go, back we go. And then sack room, where were we on sack room? We're on five uses already? Can't remember now. Uh, we're on five, yeah. Ah, we got the angel teleport, that's a shame. We didn't really need it. Let's get that there. Um... Hmm. I'll just use it as a regular heart. Oh, really? It spawned two hosts? Fuck you. Um, and then we'll pop that. Just so we can get the next angel piece. But I'm also fighting these angels because, um... I, like, I'm getting stat increases for fighting them. Why the hell wouldn't I? Uh, I keep forgetting I can use the spikes in the middle to make him walk into them. I always forget that. Makes this boss way easier. There's plus one damage for that. All the pennies, lovely. I was hoping for the soul hearts, but the pennies are pretty good too. Right, second fella. I could die against this guy, but if I do, I'm not that bothered. I don't think I'll die twice. Can you just get on the spikes, please? There's like a certain angle you can get in where he just like pushes himself against it constantly. That's what I'm trying to do right now, but it's a little bit... Awkward. I think it's this guy is just more aggressive, so he doesn't stick to the spikes as much as the first guy does. And this guy, I'm literally, I'm literally only killing him for the stat increase. You spawned your own demise. And we got another damage increase from that guy. There you go. Um, and then we come out here. We're up to really good money here. We come over here. Kill ourselves once more. Get that nice nifty stat increase. And then we take our lunch and that'll put us up to full HP. Going on to the next floor. Of course we don't have soul heart to protection for the next floor. But I have a feeling we'll get that pretty quick.
Nice. Okay. Cool. Down to the next floor. This is really good. Really good. I feel like I'm min-maxing like a pro. Oh, I left the fucking smelter there. God, I was like, hey, ventricle razor, I can get in here for free. And I was like, wait a minute. I'm not meant to be able to do this. Okay, that... I felt really good about all this. And now I feel like a fucking idiot. To be fair, to be fair... Oh, that was fucking stupid. Um, to be fair... We did manage to smelt a really clutch trinket, and I think even 15 for smelting just that trinket is worthwhile. And Ventricle Razor is still very good for Cash Room Entry, um, but it is a little bit of a shame that I completely forgot that the uh, thingy existed, because I kind of would have rather had that, I'll be honest. It is what it is, though. It is what it is. Dolphin buddy, can you get into a position where I can kill you easier? Tanks. Lovely. It's always a bit of a shame when you have to pick it up while you've got red heart health, because it's like, uh, that could be a soul heart. But at the same time, I completely understand. Why are we down to minus one luck again? I thought we were at plus one luck. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, the thingy, um, what, what the hell is the item called that gives us all the stats for bosses and stuff? Maybe some of them aren't permanent anymore? There you go. Lovely. Contagion's decent enough. It's not amazing, but I think based on the rest of the items we've had so far, I, I can be pretty okay with it. Do you know, I think I want to actually carry on with this trinket in case I get a library. Books will refund two charges. That, that's like, the other thing with the mini Isaacs for pennies is pretty good, but books gaining um, extra charges could be super, super good. That could lead some mighty shenanigans. Pop in here real quick. Molten Dime. Molten Dime is real goddamn good. And we've got the extra health to afford to be able to use it, so we'll take Molten Dime. Molten Dime just leads to absolutely batshit runs most of the time, so I think it's worth taking. Basically, any time you get an item you don't want, risk it with a Molten Dime. You do lose HP, but I think because of the item we've got, we've got the HP to afford to be more lenient. Whoa, these guys are fucking fast. What the hell? That was crazy, man. That was crazy. Good getting the cootie on, like, the biggest enemy right away. Calm down, fella. 25% chance for a random mum effect. Ugh, dude, I'm getting so many fucking trinkets now, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> Smelter. You would have been so good. Although, I have to say... I probably would have still taken Molten Dime, so we wouldn't have got much use out of the smelter, so I don't feel as bad as I would have. Oh, that's not a secret room. Surprising. That surprises me. Nice. Come on, item room. Why do you have to be the last one that we visit? Wait, we already visited the item room. I'm stupid. We've got Contagion. I'm here, like, fighting for my life, and I realize there's no need. Oh, dude. This room's confusing me. Nice. And we get ourselves a stars card. We'll use that on the next floor. Okay. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. We, for some reason, we have only devil chance here. I don't really know why that is. But if we get a devil, I'm not taking it. Oh, we got four of these bu buggers. Kind of an interesting uh, fight. One dead. Good, good. Yeah, let's see if our stats stick here. So we, we're up to we're up to two luck. Uh, sorry, one luck. Maybe only a portion of them stay now. 
We get a good item there as well. We get these bad boys. Down to the next floor. And then we stars. Straight away. I will definitely take a Chalky Milk, thank you. I do like Chalky Milk. It's got some interesting synergy potential as well. Okay, so we are on two looks still, so it does still keep over from the bosses. Ooh, please give us a library. I'm I'm really hoping for a book at this point. I would I would trade away my uh, my molten dime for a really cool book synergy with this trinket. Dude, look at the health. This item is just absurdly strong. Like absolutely absurdly strong. I'm hoping we can get something interesting with chocolate milk going on here as well. I mean, so far chocolate milk's doing us a grand job. I will not deny. I like doing that. Charging up when you can't hit them, and then spamming when you can. There you go. Um, I'm just going to take that. I'm not really using Molten Dime much at the moment, but hey her. Honestly, we can afford to just grab that. Right. Go back. I definitely want to go for our shop. Shop is really good because, for one, it's good for Molten Dime if the stuff in there is crap. But also, we've got good money right now, so it's worthwhile. Yeah, do love a bit of Chucky Milk. I see, there's only like one gap that I can shoot you through. Come on, big boy. Show us your nice little face. Got cash room here already. Contagion's doing a nice job as well at the moment. Secret room is looking to be just to the left here. Um, above this room. Yeah, that's, that, that's definitely secret room. And we get Astral Projection. Eh, that's pretty good. I probably should have duplicated it because Astral Projection isn't amazing and I could have got more out of it. But I don't want to risk losing Astral Projection, really. It's a good item. Right. What we got going on in here? So... That's... This is probably pretty goddamn good. Ah, bugger. I tried it. I tried it. Just basically using uh, our charges to, like, double up. I suppose we could do this and uh, see what else we might get. BFF. Oh, if we could get the money for that, that'd be ace. Oh, we also don't have a, a bomb to get into our thingy room here, look. So anyway, we can get some extra pennies. Two more pennies would go a long way right now. I'd like to buy BFF. Extra heart, that's nice. Oh, that's weird. Just a completely blank room. I feel like that's from a mod pack. And that's been left in there accidentally. Because that's how rooms start by default. I feel like someone's just accidentally not um, got rid of that. Ooh, we got, a, we got a thingy room. This is the problem, though. We got it at the very end of the floor, so it's kind of useless now. Um, No. <laughs> this isn't correct. Excuse me, boy. Excuse me. This is not how this works. Excuse me, my ladder. <laughs> Steven, you cheeky fucker. <laughs> That's not how this works. I'm not even going to go to the Steven floor. You little fucker, you absorbed that room. You little cheeky fucker. Right, anyways, let's buy BFF. Oh, dude, this gives a pretty hefty speed down. Unfortunately, both of these ended up being fucking thingies. Oh, nice. We got Birthright. Resurrect gives a massive damage up. Wears up over time. That's fine. We get ourselves start a deck. That's nice. Um, I will use this because I like it. We got ourselves left hand. Left hand isn't great. Not terrible, though, across the board.
I had to go. I know the speed is like atrocious, but I had to. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've ever had speed this low. I didn't even know it could get this low. Oh my god. Good thing is with every with every room that we complete, um, will our speed will increase. But this is a pretty good active to have with this thing, because we can just like duplicate like crazy. Gulps our held trinket. Okay, we ended up gulping a fuckload of trinkets anyways here. I just thought this would be easier than dealing with the really low speed. The lovers. Right. Still, speed is very atrocious. <laughs> but yeah, really, really cool active, to be honest. The, I, I like the fact that it comes with a negative to stats. I think that's a good trade-off. Yeah, BFF, I don't know how Cootie works with BFF or Sci-Fly, to be honest, but it makes them both bigger, so why not? Anzus. And yeah, I just, I don't have the money for Stephen Floor. Um, I don't have enough items I want to get rid of either. So it's just not really worthwhile. <laughs> to be fair, I could take Devil Deal at this point, because I don't need, um... I don't need the thingies, uh, Angel Deal, so I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Why not? Right. Oh, where we go. Damage is looking pretty amazing. This whole run's looking pretty amazing. Got this cool synergy Mott and Dime XL floor here. Good, good. Oh, dude, stop. <laughs> stop running away from me, you fool. Apparently we're going to have a lot and a lot of um, red chests about. Holy shit. Wow, just a golden troll bomb. Dude, what the fuck? I need bombs, game. There's so many red chests here. This is crazy. Maybe uh, maybe Guppy is in uh, in a potential run here. Dude, this is crazy. I mean, I suppose we have quite a lot of luck now, so it makes sense. But the actual room layouts that have them in them by default, that doesn't make any sense. That's not luck based at all. Dude, do we have Guppy's tail or something? What's going on here? We got ourselves Yum Heart here. Try and get rid of the speed downgrade before we start playing with that, but I would like to duplicate Yum's Heart to try and get new items. Another red chest. This is crazy. And a black heart. Why not? Fuck me. This item is so crazy. So goddamn crazy. Amplifies or changes book activation effect. Okay. If we get a book now, we are in the money. Holy hell. So, books charge a ton faster and have new effects. Okay, we're back to normal speed now. Still no bombs. So many opportunities to use them and still no bombs. Right, quickly go back and uh, power with Yum Heart. There you go, spider egg. And every three rooms we can just generate an item in there. Well, 50% chance to generate an item in there. One second. Okay, we are back after a little bit of a long break. Um, I kind of forgot uh, accidentally that my mum was um, coming to visit today. Um, and so she arrived, and I was like, oh yeah, York here. Um, <laughs> and so I've been talking to her for the past, like, half an hour. And then I ended up having lunch. That was, like, another half an hour. Um, and then she went out, so. Uh, she came here with her sister, so. They've gone out exploring. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like, okay. <laughs> Whoops. Either way, we're back in it. I had a... Mushroom and Borson, which is like a cream cheese sort of thing. Um, mushroom, Borson, uh, bagel. It was very, very good. Like, it was absolutely resplendent. Ooh, I love Contagion on enemies like this. Very satisfying. But yeah, right now, uh, I'm we're having an absolutely dank run. Um, I do remember the dankness of this run. What? Like, 
I think I think my issue is that I'm fearing them and charming them, and it's it's causing some issues. Like this guy has been an absolute pain in the ass. Just get off of the rocks, my guy. Um, but at the minute, I'm I'm honestly so desperately looking for a library because having any book right now would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I want to see what the expanded abilities are of said books, but I also um, I'm just generally intrigued with the removal of two charges, which is going to be kind of insane. Sadly, we are not get uh, getting what we want. I don't know why, but whenever I like talk, like in terms of recording directly after eating, I'm always like really burpy and like indigestion-y. Which is odd because like if I, I feel like if I talk to someone after um, I like, just regularly talk to people after eating, it doesn't bother me, but for some reason, recording specifically, maybe it's because I'm talking for a longer period of time in a slightly different manner, but I, I wouldn't see why that would affect me so much. But it must be something to do with that, though. Good, good. Should probably take the bomb we don't have any right now. Right. This is an Excel floor. Look at the amount of red chests. Holy hell. Hell's Bells. This is some insane shenanigans. We're on a bit of a longer run here, um, but it is what it is. Yeah, like, honestly, rooms like that just make Contagion feel so goddamn good. Oh, great. <laughs> to be fair, that worked out. I was like, okay, he jumped away from me. No, it turns out he just jumped right into his friend there and got him killed. Curse room, I'm not so awesome. Actually, no curse room. I can I can I can sacrifice the heart. Hey, wicked soul's pretty awesome. I'm glad I did that. Now we get a good snap boost. But there's a guaranteed curse every floor. Which is a lot annoying because we gained a mapping curse, which I'm not so fond of on an XL floor, I'll be honest. I don't remember in any way, shape, or form where I'm meant to be going, so. That's a little bit of a bummer. I think this was the Yum Heart room. Nope. Didn't really need to use a bomb there, to be honest. I could have just uh, used the Golden Troll bomb, but hey ho. I don't know if we've seen our item rooms yet. I honestly don't remember. We've been this way. Oh god, this is... I fucking hate not having mapping. It's the worst thing ever. Oh, god damn. Did you hear that horn then? Holy shit, that was so loud. What the hell was that? Oh, dude. I despise not having mapping. I don't even know if I've been to my item rooms. I don't think I have. I'm pretty sure I haven't. But, like, where the hell are they? Like, actually, where the hell are they? Ple I was just like to say, please be a stars, but it's not. Fuck me. Okay. Um, we've been that way. This looks secret roomy to me. We have been this way, I think. Yep, I just... It's just awful. Give me my map back. Been that way. We have been this way. We have not been this way. Huzzah. It's a dead end! Where's the item rooms at? Fuck's sake! How is this a dead end? How? So, have we been this way? Here we go, we got an item room. Holy hell, people, we got an item room. Uh, this is pretty good, I'll take that. Oh, dude, you spawned two hearse, that's a bit mean. Oh, dude, the, the room's not over. Shit. Apple, of course, really good. We get ourselves a bit of perk go here. Grab ourselves that. And uh, away we go. Right, to the boss, if we can remember where it was. I think it was up, 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 up. Up. 
Left, 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 left. God damn. I can't remember nothing. My brain too small. Okay, here we are, boss man. Good, good, good. He's taken care of. Dude, our shot speed is uh, through the roof now. Contagion not doing too much there to help, sadly. We are going dark path here. Devil deal. We will take Cambion Conception and then we will steal this. And we shall be on our way. Good, good, good. Our damage is looking thick. I don't even know if you can get libraries on these floors. I think you can. I'm not going to bother spending a bunch of time looking for them, I'll be honest. We grab that black heart. I'm taking all the black hearts for one because they're fucking black hearts and they're good. But also we have the um, missing page trinket that got smelted to us from the toy box. Um, so... The black arts damaged is doubled when we lose them. That's so pretty valuable. It's nice when you get uh, random bosses on rooms now because uh, they give you a ton of extra stats. Still haven't had an item from one of the red chests yet, which is slightly surprising with the sheer amount of them we've had. Sadly, no flight for us here. It is okay. And sadly, a wrong way. Wrong way or another. I'm gonna get you. Have we done hush? We have done hush, okay. I don't, I don't think we'd be making hush anyways. Yeah, we're already too late for hush, so... That was a, a foolish thought regardless. Dude. Stop spawning red chests in places I can't get them. Good old glitch heart. Oh god. How did I not get hit there? Okay, there you go. I did get hit eventually. Okay, we're all good. I like the fact that even my tap shooting with chocolate milk is doing insane damage. It is kind of crazy. Alright, please say bosses this way. Feel like, yeah, I guess I feel like we're on the right track and we are. I was wondering where I was getting these boys from, but it's Perkega, isn't it, of course. Taking a bit too much damage here, but not really a big problem. See, there you go, just getting another black heart back. Good old bloaty but bloat face. There we got him. Okay. We got ourselves placenta. I'll try and duplicate it. Like I said, I didn't exactly need it. Cool, down we go. It's mother, mother, mother time. Oh, no mapping. Balls. This is gonna be gross. I should check that, that could be an emperor. Ah, it's a hermit. Ah, no, a hermit will just confuse the hell out of me. I won't know where, I'm, where I've been or where I'm going if I take the hermit card. It'll just teleport me to a random location, won't it? And that will be even more confusing. The Fool? Ah, uh, The Fool is maybe you say, I don't know. It seems like we're going in a good direction at the moment, I'll be honest. Another Black Heart there, another Black Heart, another Soul Heart. Dude, this item, it's ludicrous how good it is. This enemy, it's ludicrous how annoying it is. Hey, we went the right way straight away. Now that is, that's some feel goods right there. Aw, oh, bugger you. Fucking this goddamn attack. I don't mind it, but like, I should be able to kill it instantly. And you you do this to me and make me sit through this whole attack. She should be dead by now. Anyhow, she's dead. We're doing Dark Path. Yes, we're doing Dark Path. I will take that. Right. 
This way. <laughs> Almost went the wrong way then. Almost went the wrong way. Sadly, we didn't get end up getting a book, which is a real shame. Oh, dude, there's about to be a lot of these things here. Holy shit. This is way too many. Calm down. Pull way too many. Okay. Let's go whatever I think is right. Try and miss out on the... Um... I was just about to say try and miss out on the mini boss boy. Of course, we get him straight away. Dude, our double visits could actually do a really good job here. Unfortunately, literally a guarantee that I get hit by that attack every single time. Oh, we are, we are two-thirds guppy, which is kind of crazy. That came out of nowhere. Oh, God. They may have spawned a lot of spiders. Holy shit. You also lobbed your little body a mile away. Come on now, we gotta be going the right way. I say that and I immediately feel like we're not. I'm just gonna keep going and hope for the best. Contagion did a pretty decent job there. Also a lot of bosses, good for us. There's an item in that room, apparently. Where's the item at? Spider bite, nice. Sadly, wrong way, but I did get spider bite out of it, so not terrible. Probably up this way. Right. Yeah, it's probably up from here. I kind of thought it would be, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't go this way to start with. Another chest there. Just because I'm so close to Guppy, I need to open them all. Wow. That was useful for me. Ah, bloody wrong way again. Come on now, game, be fair. Dude, I got so many vizzes. This is awesome. So many vizzes. Ow. Three, two, one. Oh no, my viz is... Okay, no, they're good, they're good. Like, try and make sure they don't get stomped on now. Good, good. We got... We, one of them managed to survive. One of them is okay. Right, down we go. We have no idea what we're getting for any of those. But I will take freebies. I will certainly take freebies. Nice one, Viz. Yeah, we're going to get tons of stats on this floor for all these guys we're killing. Right. I know it could lose us HP, but I still think this is worth it to uh, try again. Yep. Oh, Kest Tower. Lovely. Eden's Blessing. Oh, what did we start with with Eden's Blessing on this run? I don't even remember. We had Eden's Blessing last run. We don't, we should have started with something. I, I, I literally didn't even check. There's a book. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have any enhanced abilities. Um... all these goddamn rooms right now. Stop making me do things. Ayo! We got Guppy. Wait! Become Gu 
Is that the first time I've had Guppy on the save file? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? No way. No way that's true. That cannot seriously be the first time we've had Guppy on this save file. That... That's not... Also, this is nuts. Come on, you where are you at? If this is a success again, dude, what is going on right now? Wow, shard of glass in there, lovely. The success rate on this right now is too damn high. If it succeeds again, I'm going to be so surprised. Dude, this is insane. Oh, wait. Did I just actually... I think I accidentally bought that item there. We got C-section out of this. We got them. We got marked as well. Apparently, I don't know when we got marked. I'll be honest. Oh, there's a soul heart in there. We should go get that. Keep it moving. Don't know where my boss is at this point. <laughs> Gotta be getting close though. I can't, I honestly can't believe how many successes we've had in a row right now. It's 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 ludicrous. Do we have C-section? These don't look like C-section tiers. I think it's because we've got that reflux item and it's causing some issues. Yeah, finally. Finally, we failed. That fire is like really shitty. So we're doing crazy good damage though. I think you're dead, my friend. Right, it is time. It was a fortune, what the fuck? Tech 2, why not? Less fire rate, which is kind of annoying, but the Tech 2 laser should do a pretty good job. Right, in we go. This has been a crazy run. Sadly, never got our book thing to work. That would have been even crazier. I like Tech 2 being able to be aimed like this. It's nice. Okay. Everything's just absolutely getting memed on. I love the fact that we have BFF with all of these dudes as well. That's very nice. Oh, dude, that bears the damage then. Hello. I'm trying to stand here and uh, aim directly at the boss while killing you simultaneously. There you go, baby. There you go. If we get Delirium, we might as well go for it. We've got a pretty good setup. 
I've only got 10 minutes left though until I have a meeting, so... <laughs> I'm recording just in the middle of like lunch and a meeting, so... I'd have a ton of time. Oh, look at that damage, baby. Look at that damage. We have to go Delirium if we get the opportunity, which we won't. We know we won't. The game isn't that kind. Oh my god, yes. Okay. It was that kind. Right, now we just gotta hope we can actually get to the boss quick. Because I always fucking am slow as hell. I kind of forgot we also had Guppy on top of all of this. Like, there's another reason we're doing such absurd damage is because we have Guppy. In fact, Tech 2 is probably helping a ton with Guppy because we're just producing a ton more flies from the uh, laser. Right, this is very much going to be run to the door. Hope everything dies along the way. There's a lot of red chests about, we just don't care for them. What the hell hit me then? I'm getting hit so often. Oh, there's a black heart back there, I will grab that. <laughs> Curse die, thank god we didn't grab that last time. Good. Where's the bosses at? Okay, here's one boss. Oh, dude. Fancy brooch doesn't do much for us. Well, hello, lady. How are you? You're dead. That's how you are. I should open these for soul hearts, maybe. I mean, that's soul hearts. Wait, what? Oh, it drops them on the floor. <laughs> I thought it was a space bar item I had to use. It just picks them up and drops them on the floor. So I accidentally used my space bar and hurt myself. Holy hell. Where are thou the bosses? <clears throat> Contagion is doing an amazing job. Gotta respect Contagion. Oh dude, spiders, please stop. Stop spawning. That is a devil teleport. I will take this, thank you. And the other two I will duplicate. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Ah, dude, I keep walking into enemies. It's okay, there's, there's plenty of health about. I, honestly, I hate getting hit more for astral projection. It just slows the game right down. I don't want to slow the game down. I want it going fast as heck. All stats up, chance to fire fortune worm. Hmm. This is quality four. I have a feeling these fortune worms are going to be insanely common. It's going to get in my face constantly. Yep, had a feeling. How, why is that quality for exactly? Is this just a really good all stat stuff? Car battery? Tofu boy? Right, come on, boss, reveal yourself to me. This guy's bugged. Can't be asked dealing with him. Oh, is, that, is everything going to be Tofu now? If so, I'm definitely down with that. And of course, I, I completely went the wrong way here. I have five minutes to kill Delirium. Ugh. Try this way, but I have a feeling it's not going to be this way. I'm getting very confused on where I am right now. Actually, this could be it. It is. 
Nice. Oh god, these fortunes gonna be pain in the ass. Luckily, this guy will die extremely quickly. The C-section babies, even though they don't look like C-section babies, are gonna do insane damage. Mm. It's just no visibility at all. Why are so many of the fortunes like three lines along? Where's these one line fortunes at? Okay, can you please speed up again? Why is it taking so long to get back up to full speed? Yeah, this fortune item was not a good take. The fortunes are just so fucking massive. Make them smaller. Like, they're so big. I get that the whole point is it's meant to be a distraction, but it's a quality four item. Shouldn't be this distracting. No boss armor for you, big boy. You are dead. Anyhow, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was another in our streak of just insanely lucky and fantastic runs. Like, they're just, they're going very well. Unfortunately, this guy is taking a year and a day to actually die for some reason. Like, the longest death animation you've ever seen. But anyways, there you go. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.